Guys, real quick before the video starts, please go subscribe to my new live channel. And as soon as I get to a thousand subscribers, I'll be back to daily lives. Thank you. Salam Labas, Kush Mizien, Smiti Aaron. Hey guys. Okay, so I've been here over a year and where I'm about to go, I've only been twice. The first time I came with friends and I got lost. The second time I came, Mizien, no problems, Meshi Mushkil, but, but, it's a little overwhelming. I am at the Sukh in Tamara. Let me think of what it's called. All right, so this is an entrance to it that I actually had never been to. Um, normally when I come, I go the other way. And, but this is really cool. This is like a yard sale, a whole row of just everyone selling used items, which I'm a fan of. There will be some new stuff here, but most of the stuff in here is used um you know some really cool interesting stuff i've never seen and this is honestly where you can find some of the most obscure things like you think about it like okay morocco does is known for their scuba diving if you're a scuba diver you know this however i'm not a scuba diver and coming into morocco i would have never thought like you know it's big here and i would find it but guess what in this market this country market i just walked past a guy who had bizef of uh, bizef um scuba gear so this is definitely a place that you will find probably what you're looking for but we're gonna go out to the main part which is up here hey. salam lavas um yeah i'm so nervous guys because this is like as rural and no english here at all uh, and you know, my Shwea Darija, Shwea Darija, Meshi Mezien. And I'm gonna try to use as many words as I possibly can that I know. And I'm also gonna use my chat GBT to get more words. So let's go shopping. All right, guys, I tried to like look like fit in a little bit. So I wore like my Moroccan little dress, um, but it's white and I'm wearing flip flops. Now don't get me wrong, I see a lot of people in slides but I feel like the best thing to wear here is like sweats and sneakers. So recommendation, wear sweats and sneakers. I never learned my lesson. Each time I've come here, I've worn the wrong stuff and I've looked, I've left looking like a homeless person. You know? um, one thing I'm definitely gonna do here while I'm here is I'm gonna get like a big bag of carrots, probably cause carrots I feel like are the cheapest. Um, and I'm gonna go feed some donkey and horses. Now, uh, not to say anything bad about Morocco, but I will say that I do see a lot of horses, donkey, mostly donkeys, because I feel like donkeys are more used for this, but donkeys here are used for like transport and stuff. And unfortunately, like when you come to a place like this, you will see a lot of donkeys that are skinny, not taken care of well. Um, but that's because, you know, I guess the people that own them themselves are not, they don't have the money. So it's hard to feed themselves and their animals, but we're gonna come, we're gonna feed some of the ones here. So lots of food, lots of tables of clothes. Um, yeah, guys, this place is amazing. I do wish that I came with somebody though, because even though I'm more comfortable this time, my third time here, um, I, I'm not relaxed because holy crap, look at all those peppers. Are they hot peppers? That's a lot of peppers, guys. Let's go get some juice first. All right, guys, I actually did not expect to get recognized here because like I said, this is very country. Uh, I'm not expecting anyone to speak any English. Um, don't get me wrong, there will be a couple, I'm sure. Um, but am I gonna meet him? Who knows? But I did just meet Adam. A uh, guy just came up and spoke English actually really, really well. And when he said his name, I know the name Adam as Adam, Adam. But he actually introduced himself saying Adam. And it was like, whoa, like that's Adam. Like I know that. But anyway, um, he watches my videos and shout out to Adam for saying hi. Guys, I appreciate when you guys come and say hi. Like. Don't message me later and be like, oh, I saw you. No, no, just come and say hello. I don't bite. 
I'm very nice. Just ignore my face. Like, if you're seeing me walking, guys, sometimes I have that thing. Uh, what do they call it? Resting bitch face? But I do have that. Just ignore that. I'm, I'm really a nice person. But, yeah. So, I'm going to stick to fruits, vegetables, food items here. Possibly a caftan, but only if I get it for the price that I know, like, I should pay. So, let's see. All right, so, so far I've gotten just for my kids, bags of popcorn for one dirham, like freshly popped, and there's a couple that are red in there. And Cameron, see, I always think, a bag of candy for her and Jack to share. I spent 18 dirhams on this, which is like a dollar 70, because you know the US dollar is going down. Um, all right, so now we're in the area of like the food, and like, I feel like it's all the meats. Um, you'll see like turkeys hanging up, just straight up, meats everywhere yeah all in there is all the meat people now me personally i'm sure it's mezian however i'm not from here i still don't drink the tap water by the way guys um i do brush my teeth with it uh oh my gosh Schwinz, Schwinz, or Schwinz. i need that donut <laughs> let me find some vegetables, some carrots, so I can feed the donkeys. All right, I'm happy to get away from all those chickens. I've never seen so many chickens in my life. But let's say uh, I see a donkey right over there. Now we're gonna get into the donkeys because these are the people that bring their vegetables. And a lot of them bring them on like the carts with the donkeys. <gasps> broccoli! Guys, I, it's rare to find broccoli. Don't get me wrong, broccoli is definitely in Morocco but it's not something that's like common on the streets. You usually have to go to the grocery store for it. This is my first time seeing it in the sulk. Hey guys, one thing about Morocco that I notice is so many people hustle here, like just to make a Durham. Like right now here walking around, there's there. this is very popular by the way. Uh, guys will sell a Wahed cigarette, one cigarette. I am not sure how much it is. It's probably like a Durham, but um, Oh, you speak English. Ah. All right, guys. I have been here, like I said, for about an hour. And I have had probably like six people tell me in Arabic to watch my phone. And I'm so used to it now that even though I don't know those words, I do know what they're saying. And, and I understand their concern. Um, but so far, no one has tried to take it. But I've told them, listen, if somebody takes my phone, guys, my shoes are coming off. And I'm running your ass down, and I'm going to get my phone back. I promise you that. Don't underestimate me. Here you go. He's a good baby. Oh, you're just going to take that. All right, guys. Actually, I'm going to say that the donkeys that I'm seeing today, they're actually taken care of. Like, they're actually, they're not skinny. Um, I fed, this is the fourth one. This one's got cute, cool stripe, uh, stripe on them. I don't want to get too close. Guys, I saw a video on IG the other day of a donkey basically annihilating. I forget what it was. Was it a warthog? It was something that was going after him. And I never knew that donkeys could be this vicious. But I guess push come to shove, they're going to shove back. So there definitely are spots where they have new stuff. Like shoes clothing obviously but there is a large part and it all seems to be like definitely uh segregated into sections because i just came from a section that was all like furniture and stuff um so there definitely definitely just is like sections of like where the meats are where the clothing stuff is um fruits and vegetables now i'm on the hunt for a seer. I want a seer. And I think if I go back to the foods, I'll probably find it. All right, so these are the tents. It's all clothing on the tables. This is nothing, there's nothing but women, like 10 deep in there, guys. It's all the clothing that's like, I guess, I don't know how much it is here, but I found like near me when it's the clothing on the table, it's like 20, 30 dirhams a piece. It might be cheaper here. Oh, I found Asir, Asir. Let's get some Asir. All right, guys, I am at, I found my juice. 
Smitik. Smitik. Marwan. Marwan. Marwan is going to make me another juice. I already got one. He actually gave me this one as a guest, as a treat. But I told him I insisted on buying one. So I told him, let's make a video and uh, I will buy one for Importe. Ah, Importe. Ah, oh, sorry, Smahalia. And that, guys, is fresh juice. Look at that. All right, guys, I am heading out. I'm heading out uh, with popcorn and candy and a half bag of carrots. If I see any hamars or horses on my way out, I will dispose of the carrots. I am very happy that I did not bring the kids, especially Cameron, she would have asked for everything. But more importantly, they would have been way too overwhelmed. It would have been too many people. Um, and yeah, they would have complained. And also there's no bathrooms here, guys. So be forewarned, be forewarned uh, that you're gonna see people like men turn around and urinate. I mean, they're not like doing it right in front of you, but they are, you know? So just keep in mind that. So it was a good thing I didn't bring the kids, but let's try to find our way out of here now. All right, guys, I am back home. I figured let me wrap, wrap this video up here because it was just way too much people for me over there. Uh, like there's definitely a time limit for being there for me anyway like don't get me wrong i loved it it's amazing i love all the different things you can find there the different people but as far as like just like it's a lot it's a lot and i'm very very happy that i did not bring the kids um they do not like marrakesh like they don't like the square of a of thing and this place is way more people um also it's very harder it's much harder to walk there because like it's just ground and there is a lot of trash um it's very very overwhelming if you're a foreigner but again it's if you want like the best prices for everything i feel like you definitely have to go there again this is only on saturday this silk is only on saturday um i made the mistake of one time going thinking that it was like during the week too no it's not it's only on saturday um but yeah, it's like 20 minutes from my house, so it's not that far. Um, but it's crazy. Like, you leave the main road of, like, where I live, and then you turn left, and it's like, I swear you're in, like, a different part of Morocco. Like, s every part is so different. Like, you know, like, I live in a very developed area, you know. Um, I'm right next to Rabat, you know, with tall buildings and all that stuff. And then where I went, don't get me wrong, they still have some stuff there. But it's not like a city city like that. And it's much more unfinished. Um, inshallah, like, you know, the 2030 World Cup is going to be coming. So hopefully more things, money will get put to these other places. Because, like, I think all of Morocco should be explored by, like, people. And um, they put a lot of money, it seems, into, like, the capital, which obviously that's obvious. You know, I think all countries do that. But... I think they need to spread the wealth and give some more to these smaller and less affluential. There's a word. I never use that word either. I don't even know why I said it. Uh, more affluential. Affluential. Wait. Influential. Oh, shit. Forget it. I'm, don't. This is why I'm not teaching English, guys, because, yeah, you don't want me teaching you English. Actually, I read really well. Like, I actually can read really well, but sometimes I can't pronounce things. I don't remember how to say things. Anyway, I'm off topic. Um, so, yeah, I only got popcorn and candy. And I did buy two acers, uh orange. And I bought carrots for the horses and the donkey. So I hope you enjoyed my little time at Soksept. And uh, Bislama.